So Trent from Laley, can you tell us a little bit about this robotic system here for milking the cows? Yeah, well this is a New Zealand first. It's the first time cows have been milked live robotically at an event anywhere in New Zealand. Um, so we decided after being in the market for six years here, it was time to bring robotic milking to the, a wider audience. Um, it was an idea we had a few months ago and um, we've managed to pull it off thanks to a whole lot of hard work from the team. So. Yeah, really exciting. A bit of a mission and you've built the covered structure the whole lot. Yeah, we've co-shared the site with Cowhouse Construction and Technofarm, so we haven't done all the hard work, but certainly putting 10 cows on site for a week, managing feed, water, effluent, yeah. just overall cow comfort has been a challenge, but we've, we've done it, which is great. Yeah. But the robotic, robotic milking system itself is quite different to conventional. Um, it's all based on the premise of cows milking when they're ready to be milked. It's completely free traffic and voluntary milking. As a result, a lot of nature takes place, um, cows adjust to their rhythm and um, we get on average anywhere up to sort of three milkings per cow per day, depending on where it is in the lactation cycle. Yep. So, so the truck just still comes at the same time every day? It does. Nothing yeah. changes So there. we have some equipment that sort of allow for the vat collection and the, the wash as part of that process. Yep. But um, essentially the milking robot behind us here, the Laley Astronaut, um, works 24-7. Uh, and the cows, whether it be 2 in the afternoon or 2 in the morning, are free to walk into the shed and be milked yep. when they feel it's time. So how many up and running plants in New Zealand now? Um, we've got several farms in Southland, uh, a number in Canterbury as well. Our first project goes into Hawke's Bay in July and we've just started our fourth project in the Waikato this week. So it's really happening for us. She's all go and a lot it of is. interest here at the field days. Yeah, it's been great and I think there's a lot of movement here, a lot to see and I think it's one thing to put a robot on display and make it all look shiny, new and high tech. It's another thing to really show it in a working scenario. Yeah. Um, and the feedback's been overwhelming. Yeah. It'd be a fairly amazing thing just for even people from the town that just to see this happen. Yeah, it's fair to say the town folk, um, no one's asked where the milk goes, which is quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> where does uh, the milk go? Uh, we, we take it off site each day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's all taken care of. But um, the town folk are, are quite impressed and I think from a cow comfort point of view, you know, to have 10 cows here behind us with people here all day long, yep. they're very relaxed, very calm, happy, and the production's increasing as well, so it's been a real That's success. That's what you want. Yeah. Now, how many cows per machine? Per machine, up to about a maximum of 80 um, per robot, yep. um, but bearing in mind we do get that sort of three cow milkings a day. Um, but a, one robot will collect about 2,200 litres of milk. Yeah. So you just day. line them up? line a few up together in a shed if you yeah, want to do 500 cows. That's a good cows, question, whatever. it's really scalable, so we've got projects here in New Zealand from two robots to nine. Yep. Um, the majority are on a pasture based system, so our typical Kiwi dairy farming system, um, well suited to that. We've got, got a handful of um, projects and barns as well, so it's, it is very flexible. Yeah. yeah. Now is it all built in with the EID, all the drama? You can... Yeah, that's another good question, there's a lot of automation and a lot of technology um, behind the robot which translate to a whole lot of meaningful data and information for the farmer. Yep. Um, so there's, we've got way floors in the robot, heat and rumination collars, so the, the robot will draft a cow when it um, detects heat based yep. on activity. Um, so there's a whole lot of information that the farmer spends time on at the computer in the office dairy each day as opposed to manually cupping cows. So yep. we feel strongly that it's a much better use of time. The farmer focuses on managing his herd, optimising production, better grass, better crops and pasture and yeah. yeah. So how long can you be off the farm? Um, that's a, another good point. You can actually be off the farm for extended periods. As long as there's somebody within an hour of the property, if there's, a, if there's an alarm or a call out, if there's a failed milking, yep. you can deal to that. Um, one of our farmers in the Waikato, he went on holiday for 10 days, um, left his 14 year old in charge of the farm. Now, when I grew up on our dairy farm, there's no way my old man was there yeah, to do that. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it does sort of allow you to have a lot more flexibility, yeah. a lot more lifestyle. You're not up at 4.30 in the morning dealing with milking cows. A lot yeah. of our guys you know, are over at the dairy first thing at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So there's a lot more lifestyle built around this type of solution. Yeah. Have you worked out what it would sort of time frame to, to pay one off? Um, Again, it depends on debt to equity ratios on the farm, but certainly the return yep. on investment is, is quick, yep. given the production gains that come through as a result of the cow milking when she wants to milk, and yep. we can feed in the robot to the individual cow's needs. Longevity in the stock too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So return on investment is good. It stacks up really well to conventional milking uh, capital outlay. Yep. And, um, yeah. Did they start with cows, or have these been around for sheep, or where did it all start? Just cows. 
We're getting a lot of sheep questions down here. We must yeah. be in We Southland. love sheep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it yeah. all started, uh, we're a Dutch held company. Yeah. Um, started off in the forage equipment business, so mowers, balers, tedders, rakes. Oh, yeah. Um, milking robots we developed 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, we're the global market leader in robotic milking. Um, we've got 16,000 milking robots worldwide, the Laley astronauts. And this is the fourth iteration, if you like, of, yeah. of that product. And we've been here for six years with the milking robots in New Zealand. And it all started in Southland, actually. Bill and Jeanette Overgale, who, uh, whose cows we have here, they were the first project um, in oh, New Zealand. At Winton, yeah. At Winton, yeah, yeah. at Ray's Bush Road. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is the Mark IV. What would you improve? What could make it better? What could make it better? Well, that, that's the beautiful thing. Oh, it's, a... it's, it's like an Apple iPhone. You get, uh, I was hoping for a bit of interpretation, but yep. we get software updates. So the software is constantly evolving. There's constant improvements and new iterations coming through. So our original A1, this is the A4, so the original A1 robot is still out there in, in use in the field with the latest software operating oh, yeah. on it. So what would we change with this? Uh, it's a big question. Um, it'll be nice to get a few more cows through yeah. per robot, but again, you know, that's limited to getting the best milking out of a cow in the most production. What, a, what about um, like a Wi-Fi camera on it? You can you watch it from the house? Yeah, well, I guess that's technology you can put in the dairy anyway yeah. through a third party. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, can't answer the question really. I haven't thought that one through, but yeah. the, the, it was probably a dumb question anyway. No, it's not a dumb question. There's certainly a lot of feedback around software or different reports would like to see from the farmer's point of view. Yeah. So there's constant redevelopment being done in that area, which yeah. translates into better performance with the robot itself. But in terms of sort of nuts and bolts and mechanical improvements, nothing that springs to mind. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.